Let's start with this interior model. Podium Browser is accessed from the Podium version 2 toolbar. This brings up the web-based browser. In it, we see two sections, free and paid. Let's start with the Podium Materials in the Paid section. As you can see, Podium Material category has several subcategories of material content. Each Podium Material has predefined material properties such as reflection, blur, bumps, refraction. So they are Podium Render Ready. The material is downloaded as a SketchUp Cube component and automatically inserted into your model. The reason for the cube is that Podium attributes can only be attached to a SketchUp file. So the Podium materials are painted on all the cube faces and the cube is saved as a SketchUp component. Once the cube is downloaded, SketchUp recognizes the Podium material as a SketchUp material and it can be accessed from the SketchUp Material dialog box. Let me demonstrate this. Let's open the SketchUp Material dialog first. You can see there is nothing in the In Model area, no textures or no materials. Now let's drop the wood floor material from the browser. It's dropped in as a cube. See how the material is now included in the SketchUp Material dialog. Let's delete the cube and paint this material on the floor. I will download all the interior material materials I need for this model. I'm going to use a wood floor material, another wood material for the truss, Stucco material for the interior walls. This glass material for the glass part of the door. Once these cubes are downloaded directly into SketchUp, I can delete them because they are now part of the model. I can access them from SketchUp's material dialog. Let me apply these material to the various faces. Let's examine the wood floor material in Podium Material dialog. See how the reflection blur properties are already defined? 